Thank you to Trade Coffee for sponsoring today's video. With Trade, you can discover the freshest coffee from the nation's best local roasters. And the best part is, it's tailored to you and then delivered straight to your door. All you have to do is take a short quiz and they match you with your perfect cup of coffee. And if you're not happy with your first match, they will send you a new bag completely free. If you're like me, you love that first cup of coffee in the morning. And with Trade, you're getting the most flavorful and delicious coffee around. This week, I'm trying a medium roast from Drink Coffee, Do Stuff. And the sweet and flavorful taste is perfect for sitting back and watching a little Recollection Road. Trade makes drinking really good coffee at home so easy. So get yours today. Right now, Trade is offering my viewers a total of $30 off your first order plus free shipping when you go to drinktrade.com slash recollection, or click the link in the description below. This offer won't last forever, so be sure to take advantage while you still can. Get started by taking the simple quiz at drinktrade.com slash recollection, and let Trade find you a coffee you'll love. And also don't forget that Father's Day is coming up. A Trade subscription is the perfect gift for Dad. That's drinktrade.com slash recollection for $30 off. Make sure to use my URL and click the link below so they know I sent you. The year was 1936, and a man named Bob Wyan had just sold his prized DeSoto Roadster for $350 in order to buy a small hamburger stand in Glendale, California. He named the restaurant Bob's Pantry, and it would be six months later when he sliced a bun into thirds, added two hamburger patties, and created the very first double-decker hamburger ever. This burger that Bob dubbed a Big Boy Burger became wildly popular. The name Big Boy came from the nickname of a chubby six-year-old named Richard who loved the double-decker creation. This burger became Bob's signature meal and even inspired him to rename his restaurant to Bob's Big Boy. The Big Boy mascot was also introduced and Warner Brothers artist Benny Washam was the first to draw the character in 1937. The artist was a frequent customer and doodled the idea on a napkin in exchange for a free lunch. Through the years, the mascot evolved into the iconic fiberglass statues that became synonymous with the big boy name. A second Bob's Big Boy opened in 1938 and the original restaurant underwent an expansion that added curb service. The restaurant was dishing up loads of big boy burgers, and slowly, Bob Wyan found himself with a small chain of restaurants. He knew he had something, and his motto of serving the best quality food at moderate prices in a clean restaurant with courtesy and hospitality had people from around the country wanting to franchise his idea. Following World War II, Bob Wyan worked out a deal with Dave Frisch to use the Big Boy name and sell the Big Boy Burger. This brought the Big Boy name to the Cincinnati area, and restaurants across Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana, and Florida soon followed. In the deal, Bob's Big Boy did not license their name, and so that's why you would see different names followed by Big Boy across the country. In this case, it was Frisch's Big Boy. In 1952, the Elias brothers from Hazel Park, Michigan were the next to be granted franchise rights. This saw Big Boy spread even further across the Midwest. By 1964, the brothers had opened 100 restaurants in Michigan and Ohio under the name Elias Brothers Big Boy. Many other franchises followed. In 1956, the very first comic book series was produced featuring the adventures of Big Boy. The series featured wholesome stories of Big Boy, his friend Dolly, and his dog Nugget, and it also included games and puzzles. These comics were produced by Timely Comics, which would later become Marvel, and they were written by Stan Lee up until 1961. 
466 issues of The Adventures of Big Boy were handed out to children that visited the restaurant for decades. During the height of Beatlemania, the band stopped by Bob's Big Boy in Burbank, California. In 1965, the band was in California promoting their new album, Help. The corner booth that the group sat at bears a plaque and is a highly requested table at the Landmark restaurant, which is also the oldest remaining Bob's Big Boy in the country. Big Boy had a charm that attracted everyone, but families with children loved it. With the news of the Beatles' visit and the success of the long-running Adventures of Big Boy comic book, Bob's Big Boy continued to make a name for itself. That's when Bob was approached by the Marriott Corporation in 1967. The company that is known for owning hotels was also in the restaurant business back then, owning a chain of Washington, D.C. area hot shops. They offered Bob, who was ready to retire, $7 million and an executive position overseeing the big boy division, which he accepted. He was in this role for only a year and then was a Marriott board member for another year before he officially retired. The Marriott Corporation began a rapid expansion of Bob's Big Boy that combined opening new locations and purchasing other franchises. Marriott owned Big Boy up until 1987 when they sold the trademark to the Elias Brothers. Marriott would hold on to the Bob's Big Boy name for a couple more years along with the 208 locations that were still in operation. In 1989, Marriott would begin restructuring, and Bob's Big Boy was broken up and sold. 104 locations in California were sold to be converted into new restaurants, while the rest of the locations were sold off piece by piece over the next few years. Luckily, there are still a handful of Bob's Big Boy locations still open. The Burbank location is still the most famous, and the history and architectural style of the restaurant makes it a destination for tourists and locals alike. The atmosphere in this restaurant is as close as you can get to what Bob Wyan created nearly 90 years ago. If you are in other parts of the country, the big boy name also still survives. It has bounced around from company to company over the last few decades, but there are still locations scattered mainly across Michigan, with a few outliers in North Dakota, Ohio, and Wisconsin. You may also still find Frisch's Big Boy, which is no longer affiliated with the Big Boy restaurant group, but boasts over 100 locations in Indiana, Kentucky, and Ohio. The Big Boy character has become even bigger than the burger it was named for. This jolly kid with a pompadour haircut loomed large over many locations in the form of a fiberglass statue and has led to more merchandise than you can count. From piggy banks to bobbleheads, these collectibles are now worth a pretty penny. Bob's Big Boy has been around for a very long time. The double-decker burger changed fast food as we know it and nothing went better with a Big Boy burger than a side of french fries and a milkshake. If you're like me, you're probably craving Bob's Big Boy right now. Let me know in the comments your own memories of enjoying a Big Boy at the original Bob's locations or at any of the other franchises found across the country. If you enjoyed this video, check out the description for links that help support the channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching.